Hey folks, thanks for uh, following along on the projects we've been doing on this channel. I wanted to say a few things today about my honest thoughts about Luna so far. Obviously I'm not paid by Universal Audio to say any of these things and I'm going to be brutally honest. Um, I really like Luna. We've been using it to do a few projects here. I've been making some videos about the uh, shortcuts and stuff. One of the questions I usually get is, is it a Pro Tools killer? And we're going to tackle that little clickbait thing right away. So. No, it is not a Pro Tools killer, and it probably won't be for a long time. Pro Tools is a very deep program that integrates extremely well into many different media types and is necessary in many different aspects of the music industry and film. Um, Luna isn't really a digital audio workstation, and they don't claim to be. They call it a recording system, which that probably is a pretty good name for it. it. It integrates extremely well with their own hardware, the uh, Universal Audio uh, Apollos, the Arrow, anything with Thunderbolt can use it. So I'll go through a couple of pros here right off the bat. One good pro is that it's free. If you have the hardware, you can use Luna. Another good pro is that it seems to be updated frequently. Um, we've gotten several updates so far, and they are addressing bugs and adding features uh, all the time, which is fantastic. Another pro would be the integration of the extensions. Um, right now we only have the tape and the Neve summing, but I would assume that we'll have some more type of summing, you know, probably from SSL or API. Uh, I hope the Helios uh, has some sort of summing in the future. That's probably my favorite Unison preamp uh, and EQ. I use it all over the place. Another pro would be the layout of it. I find the layout to be really easy to get around. The key commands are pretty much the same as Pro Tools, which I've had memorized for years. And even when I use Logic, I use the Pro Tools shortcuts, which you can get to in the menu. It's easy to get around, it's easy to edit in, it's easy to automate, it's, uh, well, it's easy to use. It just sort of makes sense, especially if you've come from a hardware background, it, the layout, the workflow works really well. With that said, I'll, I'll talk about a few cons that, that I think are in the system right now. One is having to do with the save feature. I, I know a lot of people like the auto save feature that comes with programs like Final Cut, but in this situation, I believe that it should have a save as function so that we can make versions of projects without having to copy over the entire project. As it is right now, if we make a copy of our project, the entire audio files, all of them get copied over. And so you will end up with you know, you, if you have a two and a half gigabyte project, then now you have a five gigabyte project uh, just by having another version. I think they should update that. Another serious con, in my opinion, is the lack of freeze or commit. Um, of course, you can do a mix down and export a file, but the ability to actually freeze a track is especially useful in a professional environment where you would freeze the track and keep all the plugins in their exact placement and order and uh, status so that you can unfreeze that track and then go back and edit, refreeze, and, and take off some DSP or uh, CPU usage. Uh, right now, that's not available, and I hope that comes in a, in a new version. I especially like the way Pro Tools does this, where you have a freeze up to this insert so that you can continue to add plugins if you want to after you've frozen. I think that's a great way to do that. Uh, another con that I think right now is that there are no real grouping features. You can group tracks and do certain things with them, but, but you don't have a deep integration of a track group like you do in Logic or Pro Tools. I uh, hope that comes in a new version too. And uh, another con was is that there are no VCA controls. And that's not a huge one, but I know a lot of people in the industry use them um, especially if they're used to using a VCA-based console. With that said, and with all those cons out of the way, I absolutely think this is a brilliant, brilliant platform. I really enjoyed using it. It's super easy to get through. I especially like that it's easy on the eyes. I know that may be a strange thing to say, but when you sit in front of a computer for a long time, it's really nice to not have an eye strain at the end of the day. I also like the way that we can adjust the size of inserts I have been using them this way, but uh, when you when you bring them open uh, to the larger view, you can see exactly what's on these um, without just looking at the names. The collapsible tape, 
uh, insert. It's fantastic. And obviously the collapsible uh, summing portion is, is good too, just to get you away from looking at VU needles uh, all the time. And uh, the biggest pro I think of all of them is the sound. It's a digital audio system, but it also has the brilliant Neve summing. And I haven't heard any other uh, plugin or uh, digital audio workstation that has this type of sound integrated into it. Of course, you don't have to use it and it can sound like any other DAW out there. But if you're not using the Neve summing, I think you're kind of missing the point. You know, it has the, uh, the harmonic saturation, the distortion characteristics of the Neve 80 series console built right into it. And so when I use it, for instance, I will play this drum track here. And what I'll do is I'll toggle these bus inserts uh, or the Neve summing on and off. And you, you'll definitely hear the difference. And this is only with four being used. I'm, I'm sending uh, two kick mics into a sub, two snare mics into a sub, and I'm sending these uh, these other three basically straight to a, a, a mix bus here, which is acting as a drum bus. I have a the upstairs track here. This is, um, this is a, a microphone at the top of a stairway, and I'm sure you'll recognize it. Just, you know, find a drummer, play a simple beat, and uh, put some mics upstairs and, and go for it. So let me turn this on and off as it plays, and I think you'll hear what I mean. It's pretty great. I have no complaints about that whatsoever. It's been really fun to use. So uh, those are my honest thoughts about Luna right now. I know there there will be some updates soon. And we will keep track of those. And I will probably do a few more projects in Luna as well as uh, Logic and Pro Tools. So thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe. Hit the little bell. Hit the like button. And uh, we'll be back in a, in a day or two. Thanks so much.